Hello, everybody, and welcome to a conversation with artist Marjorie Davidson. Hello, Marjorie. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for making time today. We are very grateful that artists are allowing us into their space so that we can help connect you with audiences who are looking at our seventh annual group show online. And a fun fact about Marjorie, Marjorie was the first sale in last year's group show. And I remember that being a really exciting moment. I think we hugged. We did. <laughs> I know. And now no hugging. And now we're not going to hug. So tell us what you're exhibiting this year in the show. Um, in the distance, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which is, um, from a series of many, many photos driving across the Ohio Turnpike. Oh. Um, which, believe it or not, Ohio is really, really beautiful. You would never think so. You would think California, Maine, um, Vermont. Believe it or not, it's rolling farmland. Um, and it has a beauty of its own and a light of its own. Nice. And what is on your canvas now? Are you making anything that you want to share with us? Okay, so this is a sunset photo. I travel when possible to a little beat up fishing island in North Carolina. And I have lots of sunrise sunset photos from there. This was a quickie that I did right before I went to Pennsylvania last week and drove across Ohio twice That's um, and then right before I went I prepped two big canvases and I don't know if you can oh, that's see really big see that. this is just the beginning of um, a, a lakeside scut from a lakeside photo up in Door County nice and then I prepped another even bigger bigger I'm into big. She's so, into big. Oh, wow. That's this is a painting that is actually in the pop up shot. If um, you can see it. Yes, that is awesome. Where but is so that? Much, so much better. That also is Soundside from the marsh in North Carolina. Beautiful. Um, and then I have a. Um, three more of these big canvases that I want to do a whole series of these, but kind of different colors, different palettes. And what medium are you working in to do these? Um, about eight years ago, I switched from watercolors to oils. So I've been teaching myself to paint with oils. They're gorgeous. They're really pretty. Um, and sadly, they're much prettier in person than they are photographed in a fun line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that was one of the really fun things actually about putting them around town. Is that people can see them in person, right? That's been, that was so fun about Evanston Art Connects is there was art under windows, right? Everywhere. And that's what we're hoping that we can still continue to do that because it is so much more powerful, especially with muted colors like that and textures to see those in person. Right, it was kind of, unfortunately kind of during the quarantine time, but still for those of us walking around looking, mm -hmm. that was really just inspiring in and of itself just to see paintings everywhere you walked. Yeah, I love that. I hope, I hope we can continue that. It seemed like the public really enjoyed, yeah, just being surprised by art out in the open. Tell us a little bit about your background as an artist. You made reference to t leaving watercolor, teaching yourself oil. When did you take the title artist? How long has that been going on? You know, I think, I, I think I've been coloring and painting my entire life. And then hmm, about 25 years ago, I did take Sorry about that. One art class, could be a mailman. One art class um, with a wonderful painter, actually. His name was George Rushlow. He's passed away, been, been passed away for many, many years. Um, but I took a class with him and he and I became really good friends. And I've just been painting ever since. So though I work as a pianist to make a living, Mm -hmm. um, both teaching and playing. 
Um, I am really, really, really focused on becoming a really accomplished artist. And I feel like the past handful of years, I could say that I am an artist, right? That's so beautiful. And you're really happy with the direction that oil has taken your progress as an artist? It is so fun. I mean, I think it's horrible to breathe it and to touch it and all of that, but it is so tactile. Um, and the colors are so amazing. And I mean, I love watercolors too. There's a huge watercolor back there. I did a lot of really big ones mm -hmm. for a while. Um, and I've sold a lot of watercolors over the years. Um, but the oils just, like I said, there's something, there's so many more colors. There's so much more texture. Mm -hmm. Um, even though I probably approach them somewhat like watercolors with the layers, the thin layers, but, um, yeah, it's fun. And also if you mess up, you can white it out and you can cross it out. And start it again. Watercolor, you can't do that. And who are your inspirations when you come to the canvas? Who informs a lot of your practice or who or what I should say? Um, definitely Andrew Wyatt. Definitely John Singer Sargent. Definitely Claude Monet and so many other very famous artists. And then there are some contemporary artists that I follow really closely um, on Instagram, Facebook, and on their websites. Um, Jane Hunt, she's a fabulous landscape painter out of Colorado. Um, Karen Blackwood is a seascape painter. Mark Hansen, another really amazing oil painter. Um, very accomplished and they show in galleries all across the country and I've learned a lot just you know some of those artists post their paintings um, as they're painting them and Ben Bauer also he's a mm -hmm. young artist he shows he's carried by Rays in New York he is fabulous um, and because they post their paintings in progress it's almost like really learning Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how their process, what their process is. And I feel like watching all four of them, four or five of them, has also really improved my process. Nice. And where? last question, where do you paint? Where is your studio? So my studio is an extra bedroom that I have upstairs. Nice. Um, I have a lot, two big windows at the front of my house. And it's a cozy spot. And we recently got rid of the extra bed out of here. So there's more room. And, <laughs> and there's lots of natural light. Because I feel like light is a really important aspect. In there's most natural areas. light. And I also have one, um, one really good natural light source that is not natural light. Like one of those big lamps. Nice. Well, Marjorie, thank you so much for letting us come into your world today and share who you are as an artist. I'm really grateful to have you in the show and part of Evanston, Maine. Thank you so much for having me.